In this video, I'll show you how you can slowly dim or brighten a light using an automation without the need for using the light transition service. For a lot of smart bulbs out there, the light transition service does not work at all. This automation I'm about to show you is a solution for this problem. First, I'm going to create a template sensor which will capture the current brightness of a bulb. For this, I'll need the entity ID of my light. Then head into your file editor add-on. Here, I'll be using Visual Studio. If you haven't already included a sensor in the configuration.yaml file, you'll need to do so. Otherwise, this template will sit underneath your already existing sensor integration. The platform we're using here, as mentioned, is a template. The next line will be sensors, and underneath sensors, we'll need to define what template sensors we want to integrate. Start off with a name for your template sensor. For example, here I'm using Office Light Brightness as the name. I'm then going to give it a friendly name, which is how it will appear within Home Assistant. Then finally, the sensor will need to know where to grab its value from. We want to grab the brightness attribute of this bulb, which can be done with this following template. On this template, you'll just need to change the entity ID to match the light you're planning on using. Once that's done, we'll just need to restart Home Assistant before being able to use this new sensor. When Home Assistant has restarted, we can check to see if this new sensor has been integrated by going to Developer Tools and States. Search for the name of your new sensor. This should then reveal the current brightness of the bulb we chose. Now we just need to create a new automation. So head over to the automations page and create a new automation. Firstly, we need to include a trigger. For this example, I'll be using a motion sensor, which is in the same room as the light. This automation will have two triggers one to turn the brightness up on the light and then a trigger to dim the light. For this to work, I'll give each of the triggers an ID which can then be referenced later in the Actions section. So now I have a trigger for when motion is detected and a trigger for when no motion is detected. In the action section, select the choose option and then the first option will give it the condition to activate when it's triggered by the trigger ID detected. For the action, we're going to use repeat. We want this action to repeat until the light brightness reaches a specified value. So the minimum brightness being one and the maximum brightness being 255. For this example, I want the light to reach full brightness. So in this condition, select the new sensor we created and type in the desired brightness. We now need to specify what action we want to repeat. The action we're going to repeat is increasing the brightness of a bulb using the light on surface. Define the target light and then tell the service what action you want to repeat. In this case, I'll be increasing the brightness by 1%. Now we just need to do the same for option two. The differences in option two will be the triggered by ID and the action we want to repeat is to dim the lights by negative 
This will repeat until the light state is off. So here, instead of using the new template sensor we created, we can just use the state of the bulb itself. Now we have a completed automation, hit save, give the automation a name and we can go and test this automation out. Here you can see the bulb is currently off. When the motion sensor detects motion, the automation will trigger and the brightness of the bulb will gradually increase. This bulb isn't the best example as the minimum brightness of the bulb is a bit brighter than I'd like it to be. Following on from this, it's possible to now adjust the speed of the brightness increase. For example, if we wanted the bulb brightness increase to be slower, on the repeat action, we can add in a delay. So, if we added in a delay of one second, the bulb would increase brightness by 1%, wait a second, then repeat the action again until the bulb reaches the specified brightness. You could also adjust the brightness step increases if you wanted the jump in brightness to be higher or lower. And that's it for this video. Hopefully, this has given you some automation ideas and helped you realise that you're not tied to just the options that Home Assistant has laid out for you. Feel free to comment below on any automation ideas you have. If you found this video helpful, leave a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to keep up to date on all my future videos.